fam, it's your girl Angela Denise and I am here with you today with a foundation wear test and review. Today I'm going to be doing the Stay Naked Foundation and Concealer released a couple of weeks ago from Urban Decay. I knew that as soon as I seen the promo, this is a foundation that I wanted to try out and I've heard great things about the concealer. So today I have shades 70WY on the foundation and 70NY on the concealer and um... So far, it's holding up pretty good. I just want to go ahead and mention that if you are interested in my eyeshadow look that I'm wearing today, I have a separate tutorial. I will have it listed in the iCards and in the description down below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this foundation review. Okay, I am excited to try out this foundation. I knew as soon as I seen the promo for this foundation and concealer that I wanted to try it out. We're doing the Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation from Urban Decay. I have 70WY for my foundation shade and 70NY for my concealer shade. So, I'm sure you all have seen a million videos by now, but this is the packaging. Um, I know a lot of people were saying that they wish that it was glass. I concur. I still think that the packaging is kind of nice. It has a pump and it's only $39, so I'm kind of feeling it. So I'm shaking it up. I'm going to go ahead and start out with two pumps on the back of my hand. And this is the shade. I'm at my deepest right now because I've been getting a lot of sun. So I chose this shade and I just hope that it works out for me. And why am I putting foundation on my face without primer? So because I heard the foundation can be a little bit drying, I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with Fix Plus. Okay, so let's try that again. I'm going to go ahead and take two pumps on the back of my hand. And I'm going to start stippling this foundation. So let me know what y'all think about this color. Um, I'm not too sure. But it's all I have, so we're going to have to rock with it. So now I'm going to go in with the concealer, and the shade that I have is 70NY. And this is not going to be a highlighting shade. This is going to be a skin tone match, pretty much. Then I'll have to go in with another concealer to brighten up the under eye. Because I kind of thought the shade range on this was a little bit weird. It went from 60WY to 70WO and then 70NY. And WO didn't look really good. Or at least in the lighting in Ulta, it didn't look good on me. So, I don't know. I've heard good things about this concealer, so I definitely had to try it out.
Okay, so this is the concealer all blended out. I think that it does look good. It is pretty much skin tone. It's just slightly lighter than my skin tone. So, what I'm going to do is go in with my La Mercier concealer in the shade 4N just a little bit. Let that sit on the skin for a minute or two. Well, not a minute or two, but you know, 30 seconds or so. Then I'll go in and blend it out. All right, so that gave me a little bit of a highlight. I'm going to go in with my Sonia Kashuk Beauty Sponge and just kind of blend everything out. This is just what I do in all of my foundation routines. All right. So now that everything is pretty much dried down, you guys let me know what you think about the color. Is it a good match or is it too warm? Uh, just kind of let me know what you think. I'm going to take my Born This Way, is this my Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. This is medium. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to take that. I'm going to set under my eyes and uh, my eyelids. Under eyes are set. Now I'm going to set my face with the Jouer Soft Focus Setting Powder, and this is the shade Dark. So the face is set. I'm going to go ahead and start my wear test. We are at 227. Hope y'all can see that. It's 227. And I'm going to try to wear this foundation for at least seven or eight hours. So we'll see how that works out for me. Either way, I'll come back and give you guys an update on how the foundation is wearing at the end of the day. So I'm going to do a quick rundown because I do want to finish my makeup on camera, but I won't be holding up products and talking about them as I go. So I want to go ahead and do that now. Um, let's see. So I'm going to use my sculpting powder to sculpt my face from Butter Bronzer, and this is the sculpting bronzer. Someone mentioned in another video that they couldn't find it on the website. Well, it was never on the website. It was a... It was never on the website. It was a Walmart exclusive and it was only in certain Walmart stores. You just have to go to Walmart and see if you find it. Um, let's see. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to be using a combination on my bronzer today. I'm going to be using the Hula Carmel and the Ebony Bronzer from um, CoverGirl. And what are we going to do for blush? For blush, I'm going to use my Cover FX blush monochromatic blush and this is spiced cinnamon i think this is a beautiful shade i've been loving it all of the details will be down in the description bar so let's go
Okay, I wanted to come back and do another check-in and let you guys see the final look that I came up with today. All of the details for the other complexion products that I used on my face will be listed down in the description bar in case you are interested. And again, the eyeshadow tutorial will also be linked in the description bar if you are interested. It is the Anastasia Thomas Jackie Ina palette. Um, it is currently 401. I hope that you guys can see it. It's currently 401. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to wear the palette um, at least four more hours. I'll come back. I'll check in so you guys can see how my foundation is holding up. See you soon. Okay, it is a little bit after 11 o'clock. I've had the foundation on for quite some time now. Um, as you can see, I am pretty oily in the cheek area. But I will admit that the foundation does look pretty good on my face. I do like the way the foundation wore. Um, it does feel really lightweight on the skin. I could use something um, a little bit more mattifying for my primer but I just want to kind of see what the performance would be on the foundation you guys let me know what you think that is going to wrap it up for tonight I wanted to come back and show you guys how the foundation wore um, I had it on a little bit longer than what I thought so yeah this is what we're working with I think it looks good I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night so I can get this makeup off my face I will see y'all next time